Okay, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Jade from Salem O Photography and today we're going to be talking about a layer mask. Quickly, it's going to be a short video and I know a couple of people are looking out there. They're asking a couple of questions. Yeah, what is a layer mask and then how should I use a layer mask? Okay, for those of you who don't even know what a layer mask is, a layer mask is a fundamental tool in image manipulation generally. Yeah, you, uh, manipulators use it very well. Graphic designers use it very well. Even photographers use it so well. Now, it's it's a tool that allows you selectively modify the opacity or transparency of a layer. So it's more like you erasing portions of the layer, but not necessarily erasing it. You're not getting rid of it. You still have it, but you're just manipulating the value of the opacity taking it out of the image or bringing it back into the image so okay quickly let's see how that works right here we have um this beautiful cityscape a lot of skyscrapers and then water and i have another layer here if you could look this de stock five um i already brought that in quickly let me rasterize that okay i already brought that in and it's not visible now if i bring it back you notice that it's just a random image that is down here now the whole idea of you working with a layer mask is just selectively modifying the opacity of that particular layer so imagine we just want to pick out this image right this image and then we want to drop it in this portion we just want to view this image at this portion where the water is um one way to do it would just be to pick up your eraser and then you just start erasing all through and you take it off you see it works but there's a problem with working with this particular uh method because once you erase that portion of the image you have to now well let's say further into your workflow you want to take back part of it you want to take back part of it you know the only way you'd be able to do that would be to undo and if you have too many undos and you don't probably have that much space to take as much as undos you've gone so far it's, it could actually be a pain because you're outrightly taking out that portion of the image now if you're going to be working with the layer mask you just need to come down here yeah, you see this portion, yeah, this icon right here. Once you hover over it, it says create, okay, add layer mask. Now, once you add a layer mask, it's kind of like forms a separate layer, like a sub layer that is linked to your layer right here. Now you see, but nothing has actually happened to the layer and the overall image that we can see. Now the difference is when you're working with layer mask, you notice that you can only use your black and your white. So I'm picking up the brush tool. Now when you pick up your brush tool, now I have my opacity set to 100% and my flow set to 100%. If you don't know how this works, um, uh, you let me know in the comment section if you want to have a video like that and I'm going to take walk you through the process and then what those settings, what those parameters mean. But quickly, uh, we have the black color selected as our foreground color. Yeah, and we have a layer here that is white. Now what a layer mask does is every layer that every portion that has been selected as colored as white here shows if we paint black over this image right now on the layer mask it takes it out take for example you see that we're taking out this portion of the image but the beautiful part of working with the layer mask is that um you see if you notice you can see the black we just painted right here now the thing is if i want maybe later in my um workflow in the process of building this manipulation or this job whatever i'm going to be doing i want to bring back portions of this image i don't need to undo anything i just need to come back here select white as my foreground color and then paint back and the image comes back it's it's a very very powerful tool and it's it's very beautiful how it works so um that's that yeah now um there are different things quickly i just want to show you a few hotkeys and working with your uh layer mask now you can notice that there's black and then there's white here white under now 
if in any case i want the exact opposite of what i've just done that is i want this portion of the image to show up and then i don't want this portion of the image to show up i just need to select this layer mask and then i hit ctrl i you see it automatically gives me black on other portions that were white and then you see the control i actually inverts it now control z let's take that back to the beginning now let's take for example before we had the layer mask now there's no layer mask on this and then let's say we want to make a selection and we say okay this portion right now we want to take this portion into a layer mask once this place is selected and i hit the layer mask button it creates a layer mask but then it gives white to that selection so it means i only want to see what is in my selection and then i can always hit ctrl i to give me the exact opposite but then let's take it back again and then we take this we make the same selection the same way we just did it another thing you can do is um when you hit alt and you're clicking on the layer mask it automatically takes off your selection and gives it as black so it's the inverted mode just like what we did so you already know what you want to come up on the final step you choose and basically that's that now on the brush yeah you could just come over here sorry we're painting in white there we don't want white to be there so we select now you know once you click this you you switch from your background color to your foreground color and like that so yeah i just need to clean up those the edges there just a little bit so it looks cool and yeah I could decide to reduce the opacity and whatever it is you want to do you just have fun and yeah that's basically everything uh please don't forget if you like this video please indicate below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's going to help the channel and let us know if you want to have more videos like this in the future thank you guys thank you guys so much peace